Hello everyone, my name is Huai Zhu Jiang. I am an assistant professor at Northeastern University. I am happy to give an overview of our work DCVNet. Dilated cost volume networks for fast optical flow. This is a joint work with Eric Learned Miller from UMass Amherst. Optical flow is a classical problem. Given two input images, the objective is to find a pixel-wise displacement of brightness patterns from the first to the second image. We usually use colorized optical flow for visualization. Taking advantages of deep neural networks, we can get deep features of input images. Given a pair of potential correspondence, we can compute the correlation between two feature vectors as the similarity. We need to check a lot of potential matchings in the second image, resulting a vector of similarity scores for a particular pixel in the first image. We repeat this process for all pixels in the first image and get a three-dimensional tensor, so-called cost volume. Existing approaches usually have two ways to process the cost volume. The first representative approach is PWC net. A cost volume with a small search range is first constructed at a coarsest pyramid level, which is used to estimate a rough optical flow. The rough optical flow is then used to warp the features of the second image in a finer level to make the correspondent searching easier with a small search range. More accurate optical flow can be computed. Such a coarse defined process is repeated until we reach a certain pyramid level. Another representative approach is RAFT, which uses recurrent neural networks to gradually estimate the residual between the true displacement and the final estimation, based on the cost volume. Both approaches have achieved remarkable accuracy. But they are not fast enough to use in practice. To address the speed issue, we use dilated cost volumes. Here given the first image, there are two pixels A and B, which move to A prime and B prime, respectively, in the second image. If we look at the pixel A, its displacement is small. When building the cost volume, we can use a small search radius with a small dilation rate. For the pixel B, whose displacement is large, we can use the same search radius with a large dilation rate. In other words, we can use different dilation rates to capture small and large displacement at the same time. Here is an illustration of the network architecture of our proposed DCV net. We first extract features of the input images using a convolutional neural network at different resolutions. We then construct cost volumes with different dilation rates, which are concatenated together. Such dilated cost volumes are then processed with a UNet-like structure. The output of the UNet is a residual applied to the original cost volumes to estimate the optical flow. Compared with PWC net and draft, our approach is simple and straightforward. Here are the quantitative comparisons with state-of-the-art methods. The x-axis is the inference speed, measured in terms of frame per second. The larger the better. The y-axis is the average endpoint error on the final pass of the testing set of the MPI Sintel benchmark. The lower the better. We can see our proposed DCV net achieves comparable error rate to other approaches, while running faster and in real time. To summarize, we propose to use dilated cost volumes to capture large and small displacement at the same time. Our proposed DCV net is simple yet effective, achieving comparable accuracy and running faster and in real time. The code will be released as part of the EasyFlow library, which provides a modular implementations of multiple state-of-the-art optical flow models. Thank you.